Good day, everyone. My name is Abdullah Suleiman. I teach computer and data processing at Nigerian Tulip International College. Today, we are going to look at the first 10 questions of 2017 YEC data processing. So let's get into it. Okay, question one. Question one says, one of the characteristic feature of the second generation of computer is the presence of A, we have backing tube, B, we have transistors, C, we have microchips, and D, integrated circuit. So this question is under classification of computers. And we can classify computers in different categories. So let's look at the classification of computers, some of the classification of computers. The first one is sizes. We have classification of computers based on sizes. Under this, we have four different types of computer. We have the supercomputer, which is the largest in terms of size. We have the mainframe computer, which is the one following the supercomputer. And we, ha we have the mini computer, and we have the microcomputer. And next, we have classification of computer based on purpose. Under this, we have two computers. We have general purpose computer, which uh, an example of that is the personal computer. And we also have the specific purpose computer. An example of that is the traffic light or an ATM machine. We also have classification of computers based on how this computer process data. Under this, we have three types of computer. We have the digital computer, we have the analog computer, and we have the hybrid computer. We also have classification of computers based on generations. Under this, we have five different generations of computers, which is related to the question because they are asking of the second generation of a computer. So the first generation of computers uses vacuum tubes. Why the second generation of computers uses transistors? The transistor replaces the backing tubes, that's why the computer is called the second generation of computers. The third generation of computers is the integrated circuit. The fourth generation of computers is the microchips. And the fifth generation of computers is the AI, that's artificial intelligence. And then looking at the options, we are asked of the characteristic feature of the second generation of computer. That's the main characteristic. And the main characteristic feature of the second generation is use of the transistors. Therefore, the answer is going to be transistor because backing tubes is for the first generation, microchips is for the fourth generation, and integrated circuit is for, for the third generation of computers. And then looking at this question, the question says convert four in base 10 to a number in base 2. So when we are to convert this into a number in base 2, we need to apply some mathematical uh, operations. But it's easy. Don't be scared. Mathematics is easy here. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take this 4 and place it here. After placing the 4 here, we are going to divide this 4 by 2 until we have a 0. So now we are going to put a 2 here that we are going to use to divide this 4. So when we use this 2 to divide this 4, we are going to have a 2. Do we have any remainder? No, we don't have any remainder. Therefore, our remainder is going to be a zero because we are going to take the remainder as our result. Then we'll go ahead and divide these two. Since it's not yet zero, divide by these two, we are going to have a one. A one, when we divide it two by two, we are going to have a one. Do we have any remainder? No, we don't have any remainder. Therefore, our remainder is going to be a zero. Then, this one is still not a zero, so we are going to divide it by two again. So when we put two here and divide this, it's impossible. Therefore, it's going to be a zero here. Do we have a remainder? Yes, we have a remainder, which is a one. So we have one, zero, zero, since this is a zero. So we are going to have one, zero, zero. We are going to take it from the, from the bottom to the top. So it's going to be what? One, zero, zero. Therefore, when we convert four in base 10 into a number in base two, we are going to have 100 in base 2. So look at our option. Do we have 100 in base 2? Yes, of course we have, which is option C. So let's move to the next question, which is question 3. Question 3 says, the data process into its useful form is referred to as, when we process data into its useful form, what does it mean? So let's look at what is data and what is information. So data can be referred to as a raw material from which information is produced. It means when we process data, we are going to have what we call an information. So information is processed data, as I said earlier. Information is the result of processing, manipulating, and organizing data into a way that adds to the knowledge of the person receiving the data. This is the information. Therefore, looking at these three options, we have unique data, we have raw data, we have knowledge, we have information. Obviously, our answer is going to be D, which is information. 
Moving to the next question, which is question four, which of the following is an example of qualitative data? So in this case, data is divided into two. We have quantitative data and we have qualitative data. Let's look at them. The qualitative data is a data that, has, that is not given numerically. It has no any number, it has no any quantity. E.g., place of birth, it has no quantity. Favorite food, it has no, no, no quantity. Types of car, of course, it doesn't have any quantity. So we also have qualitative data, sorry, quantitative data. Quantitative data is numerical, e.g., shoe size. Your shoe size has some kind of numbers. Why? Uh, number of books also have some kind of numbers. Therefore, our answer here is going to be a color because a height has some kind of number. Height has some kind of number. We have length, it also has some kind of number. We also have shoe size, it also has some kind of number. Therefore, color has no any physical quantity. Therefore, our answer is going to be A, which is a color because it doesn't have any quantity. So moving to the next question, which is question five. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a personal computer? Basically what we are asked here is the characteristic of a computer because almost all the computer has same characteristics, just for some few. So these are the characteristics of a computer. We have speed, we have accuracy, we have diligence, we have reliability, we have memory, we have logical, we have volatility, we have automation, consistency, remembrance power, digitalization, all these are characteristics of computer. And looking at this, we have automation, which is part of our characteristics here. We have digital, which is part of our characteristic here. We have high speed, also the first one. Therefore, complex is not part of our characteristic of computer. And it's obvious that computer can never make your work difficult. Therefore, our answer should be B, which is what complex. Moving to the next question, which is question six. The gap between ownership, access, and benefit from computer and its application is termed digital. This is a topic in JSS3 and it is called digital divide, and it's, it, it ends with what? It's term digital, digital what? And we have divide here. It means the answer is going to be B, which is divide. But what is digital divide? The term digital device is used to describe the gap between the people who have, who have regular and beneficial access and control of modern information technology and those who do not have such access. Therefore, our answer is going to be B, digital divide. And then moving to the next question, which is question seven. The question says, magnetic in character recognition, that's M-I-C-R, I used to read code on A, postal code, B, multiple choice examination answer sheet, C, bank teller, and D, bank checks. So now let's look at what is M-I-C-R, which stands for magnetic in character recognition. So this is the picture of the device, and we can see there's a paper here, but this paper looks like a check. But let's look at the text. Magnetic in character recognition code, known short as MICR code, is a character recognition technology used mainly by the banking industry to streamline the processing and clearance of checks and other documents. Checks is written there, and we have check in our option. Therefore, our answer is going to be D, which is check. I think this question was repeated in the year 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, number eight, which is the next question. The question says, the device that sends information to the CPU is D. So this is under input and output device. Input devices are those devices that input uh, information into the system, while output devices are the devices that output information from the system. So from our option, the only answer here is input device because that sent is D. It means it's taking the information into the CPU, therefore our answer is going to be input device. Output device will not be the answer. Bus is not going to be the answer because it's within the system. And the processor is also within the system. Therefore, this cannot be the answer. The answer is going to be a B. And this is the definition or this is an explanation about an input device. Moving on to the next question, which is question nine. The question says, which of the following is not a procedure for information processing? So from the option, we have segregation, we have organization, we have interpretation, and we have collection. Looking at all these, they are all procedures in processing information, except for the A, which is segregation. Therefore, our answer is going to be A, segregation. It's not part of the information processing procedure. Moving to the last question, which is question 10. The question says, the assembly of data according to a predetermined order is known as 
This question is under data and information, and arranging data or assembling data into a predetermined order is known as A, collection, B, interpretation, C, organization, and D, summarization. This is a straightforward question. It is organization. Organization is the assembly of data according to what predetermined order. So thank you very much. Let's meet in our next class. Thank you.